Hello everybody, welcome to the 1CNC tutorial on spiral roughing. As you can see on the screen I've got myself a, a model and uh, got it in position. Um, it's just below the Z datum and the first thing I'd need to do is I need to put a point on the uh, center for the to tell the software where the center of the spiral is. So I'm going to create myself a point on the middle. So I'm going to go back home, point, coordinate, zero, 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 cancel. Now that creates me a point on the center. Also, I'm going to extract this surface to give me an outside edge and an inside edge so I can use that as the boundary. Um, so if I go into um, extract the surface edge, pick this surface, and you can see it's extracted the inner and the outer um, because I'm going to use them as a boundary. So if I open up the NC manager, just lock them in position, and we'll go into create model tool pass like plenty and Z level, and the one we're going to choose is spiral roughing. Select OK, and the first thing the software says to me is pick the endpoint. Well, we've just created that point on the center, so I'll left click. Um, I'm going to pick myself a 12 milli ball end, accept, tool number one, speeds and feeds, etc. Next, five and one is my rapid position. Next, I'm going to step over in three milli cuts, leave 0.5 on, uh, surface tolerance 0.05, uh, uh, two milli cuts, and I want to climb mill. Select next. I'm going to pick myself a boundary, normal to the boundary. Select next, uh, automatic offset. I'll just put that as um, one there to show a preview of it. Select finish, and the software is asking me to pick the boundary. Well, that's the outside is one of the boundary. Left click, and the inside is the other boundary. Left click. Press my right mouse button. And you can see it's created those positions there. So let's simulate and see what we've done. So let's right click, simulate. I'm going to pick myself a boundary. I've told it top of the job is zero, minus 63. Select OK. Then pick the boundary, left click, pick the inside boundary, left click, press your right mouse button. And there you can see it's spiraling its way out. See if I can uh, just speed that up a little bit. So you can see it's because I've told it with some material on the top, it's staying down and just spiraling outwards. But when it comes to these middle sections, of course it's already cut that, so it'll lift up and rough out them areas there. You can see, so if I just put this back down to default speed, lift up cut lift up you can see it wrap it in over gradually spiraling out so at least we're not doing any fresh air cutting on the top you can see I've just uh, fast forwarded it a bit more and it's just taking the peaks out the bottom there gradually spiraling out and there you go so if you want to do any spiral roughing in one CNC this is how we do it hopefully that helps you get started and thank you for watching